Congratulations to that 32-year-old who won the Little League World <laughs> Series with a walk-off home run. It reminded me of travel team baseball whenever it is that we would go play Tammy Amy or Flagami uh, when we were young. And the first baseman for the other team, I'd be 12 years old, would show up in his car with a cigarette and a beer. <laughs> my, my Little League World Series hopes were dashed by the Tammy Amy Titans. They were full of 16-year-olds who were eventually kicked out of the that, Little League that's tournament. Correct. That is correct. Billy, did you uh, did you hey, travel? Dan. Where did you play Little League baseball? Uh, I played at West Kendall Optimist. Did you travel? Did that team travel? Oh, no. Well, we did. Actually, we had one team that went undefeated. It was like the first. No, no, no thanks to me. I was Billy Bunt. We've already heard about those stories. <laughs> but that's when I was you know, a master at bunting. That team was probably the team that I was closest at being competitive at, like being on a team that could play for the Little League World Series. But then the league banned our coach because they didn't like his practices. And he had previously been banned from Tamiami Park for similar practices. So like he was running out of stops at that point. And then I played at Glades for like a season. I was the Teal Sox because... I don't know how it worked when you were like youth baseball, where I guess you could use team logos and adopt their names as long as you just change the colors of the team. Like, for example, I don't know. I guess that's how they skirted around things, because why else would the Oakland A's be purple? Why would the White Sox be teal when they're called the White Sox and we're using their logo, but our team is teal? Like These things didn't make sense. Why were the Cardinals white? They just didn't have red anywhere in their uniform. White hats. Why would you have white hats in, league, in youth league baseball? And none of it made sense to me. Do you remember my question? I remember that the coach. The, I, I shouldn't I say the coach. It was the assistant coach. I think his name was Scott of the Teal Sox. It was the time when like South Park was like really catching on. And I was maybe like 10 years old. So like 10-year-olds should not have been watching South Park Ever, really, but like not at the beginning when things Put were it on wild. The poll, Juju, at Levitard Show, should 10 year olds be watching South Park? So the kids on the team were in the dugout talking about South Park, and Coach Scott, who again was the assistant coach, had glasses, a bit of a nerd. So Coach <laughs> Scott was talking about how, you know, he watched South Park, but none of the kids should. And I'm like, Coach Scott, I feel like we're giving the wrong message here. Like, you shouldn't be talking to the kids about South Park while you're hoping that they don't watch it. But I don't think Scott had many friends. So Scott just wanted to talk to anyone about South Park, you know? My question was yeah. whether your team traveled at no, all. No, because our coach, no. got, our coach I mean, got banned from yes. the league, so we couldn't travel. But that would have been the team to do it. But Lazaro, funny business. We've talked about Lazaro before, <laughs> where he figured out a way to manipulate the draft in the most Lazaro coach way possible, where you had like protected picks and some coach decided to be cute, and he decided not to protect his own son so that he could get Charlie Mack, who was amazing. And then what happened, Lazarus said, you know what? I'm going to pick that coach's son, and I'm going to hold him hostage until I get the best player in the league. And that's why they didn't like Lazarus around those parts. Chris coach Cody, Eddie either. Did you play uh, travel baseball? Did, did you, I play did, travel did you, baseball? Did you run into any of these Latin teams that had a kid like the kid who hit the home run to win the Little League World Series where you're watching it? Carl Ravitch is announcing, and he's saying, Ravi, uh, can you play this sound for the people? Because this was exceptional timing. Curacao has not allowed a home run at the World Series. Challenged him, and this game is over! The kid is as big as Otani. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, listen to the sound. Listen to the sound that bat makes after Ravage says that Curacao has not allowed a home run. Curacao has not allowed a home run at the World Series. Challenged him, and this game is over. Cody, did you run into any of those local Latin teams? Because uh, I, I went in as some powerhouses. We had some powerhouses in our little Miramar division. That kid was 6'1". I mean, serious, 6'1", for real. He is listed as 6'1". Yes, I dealt with I dealt with a lot of that. I never got taller to, than I me. never got a walk off home run. <laughs> Everybody in, in the Little League World Series is taller than you, Stu guys. I missed out on the walk off. I never did it. I never celebrate. I never got to celebrate a walk off, a game winning shot. That, that's got to be so cool. He peaked though, right? This kid. It's not going to get better for this kid. Oh, 100 percent. That's yeah. the highlight of like, his life. He's going to accomplish right. nothing. Like Respectfully to the I'm kid worried and about it. If I'm his parents, I'm feeling bad. I'm like, oh no. You want to be a it? late bloomer or have a late bloomer because then they have to develop, you know, like personality and character. If you're like the tall 
tall kid. You're just always going to be a tall kid. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, you're so tall. You're so good at sports. And then you don't develop fully as a human being. Right. And you're just like a right. doorknob to talk to. No one yeah. wants to talk to you ever. Sorry, kid. You're not sorry. I'm not really, if I'm going to be honest with you. You can't say respectfully that kid has peaked. He will never do anything. Chris said he peaked. Night. I said this is the most he's going to accomplish. I'll say in his disrespectfully. Life. That kid peaked, and that's it. And that's I'm really worried about him. Yeah. I'm really worried about that kid because imagine peaking at 13 years old it's and sucks. knowing Stop. the rest of your life is yeah. downhill. Well, he that's doesn't it. know yet. He'll no, he learn. Knows. He no, knows. no, he'll learn when no, he's like he 22. There are yeah, better yeah, times exactly. ahead. This kid thinks, oh, that's sad. That sucks. I feel so bad for him. Yes. And it's not rude, Dan. It's a numbers game. How many of these kids have you ever heard from? Todd Frazier, that's it. Exactly right. Like Todd every Father. Little League World Series, we're here about the and Todd Father. And now he's Father. calling games Ex for the Little League World Series. I feel bad for him on that, too. Don't get me started on that. Guy's made $40 million. Why is he wasting his time in Williamsport, Pennsylvania? He calling little kids enjoys games? it? How about enjoy your family? You're remembering the peak of his years. life. Jeez, Todd Father. How about enjoy $40 million and not calling games of these little kids? The Little League World Series, I'm out creepy i wouldn't say it's creepy but i also do not like it something just doesn't sit right about it what it just does it to the me the fact it's, that he's six one to I me it sits perfectly yes. it sits perfectly i love yeah. it i think i wouldn't mind it if it weren't like so nationally broadcasted Thank you. we're like if it were just something that like you could go to a youtube stream and watch i think i'd be fine with it but it's like a money maker and i don't like that how about some NIL deals for these kids? You know what I mean? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The idea that he would peak with that home run, I'd take it as a peak. I don't know that I've ever would accomplished you? anything that would feel as good as that must have felt to that kid. Yeah, in the moment, but now it's over. Now yeah. what does he have? Right. So are you willing to the peak memories. at 13 years old I'm for that to I'm be the peak? Like, what's the best yes. it has to be? Right. What's the best it has I, to be to I'm peak? I'm saying that that is a pretty good way to peak to peak <laughs> uh, to to be someone who hits the home run that wins the little league world series that makes carl ravage sound like a fool that makes the bat makes that sound i still remember a game winner i hit in intramural basketball really I do. What do you? What, do you, what is your? Is there a witness? What, what mean, is your athletic achievement that you huh. still remember? And how much better is it than my intramural game winner? Uh, I had six threes in one game. It's still a record in Long it was Island. Seven I mean, the last time uh, you told us that you had damn, the record. It's been a while. That's it. I didn't peak then, though. Forty-two is the perfect age to peak. We can all agree. Yeah. What? 42 is when you want to peak. Solid age, yeah. Yeah, like like professionally, like half your life the, is gone. We right. want the best thing for this kid at 42. 13, it was great when it happened. No one's disputing that. But now what? Yeah. He's got an awesome fun fact for when he's 42 and has to introduce himself in a new job. Good starter at two truths and a lie. <laughs> was your game winning bucket like a rebound? You put it back in. They didn't go to, to you for they didn't draw it up for you. You did weren't they? getting your own <laughs> yeah, shot. They didn't draw it up for me. But our big score was double. And so, <laughs> so, so he made he made the smart pass. He I'm made imagine the, you in the corner oh, wide open. I was yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah. I am I was admittedly scared. I didn't expect it to go in. I'm uh, picturing Dan with like the step back, the Kemba Walker step back at the free throw line. <laughs> get it to Levitar, get out of his way. No, that's not Let that's, him eat. that's not <laughs> at all how it went. Uh, I was in a panic. I did not know how much time was left on the clock. I was very relieved generally when the ball went in and then I heard the buzzer. It was more relief than enthusiasm, really, because I shouldn't have been taking the shot. <laughs> and you guys are right. You guys are right to say that there's a reason I was open and the reason that the double team wasn't anywhere near me. But again, as an athletic achievement, I've never felt better. Now, I had some nice moves on goal scores in soccer, but my dad would get mad at me because I wore a headband and wristbands and he thought I was too flashy. So huh. I'd get yelled at <laughs> for, uh, for, being a, for being a showman. It's so weird. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I know. He knocked it out of me early. It, it led to a lifetime of repression. <laughs>
incapable of showing much in the way of joy because you're going to get punished for it. <laughs> Just relief. <laughs> Just relief when you hit a, It was a little baby hook, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, again, a terrified. Were you showboating again, then? You could have no, just laid no, it in, no, right? No, I, I wasn't mean, close. Why do you have me so close to the basket? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you're, you're it has assuming, to be a put back. I'm with you're, you're, you're assuming back, it's a yeah. layup? You, you guys. Oh, you like, have like a sky hook from like a three-point line? I had you doing? as a guy they put under the hoop. Hey, go down there and get to work. Garbage man. Thank you, Stugatz. I mean. <laughs> That's a loose ball that just ends up in your hands that you've grabbed off the ground and you're just tossing over your shoulder. And in your head, it's a baby hook, right? Like, it's just a, a toss, not even looking at the <laughs> oh, rim. Like, you're afraid someone's coming, just threw it up in the air? Yeah, I want to see sure. the footage. Yeah. For sure. Ball's on the ground. Dan picks it up. He kind of sort of turns. Hey, I'll throw it up. Right. Oh, go to, oh, my God, baby years hook. Years from now, I'll tell everyone it was a baby hook. Yep. Yeah. They won't know the difference. Ten years from now, right. it's a sky hook.